OTR with the clear vision is unique. My immediate thoughts were, oh, this is just great. We're on a small island in the Gulf Stream and in the English Channel. What regularly happens is the, the weather conditions are such that we have fog coming with very little notice, and that can be very disruptive to our flying. Um, typically, if a flight can't land, it has to go back to um, the UK. We've got fuel costs, aircraft costs, hotel costs. Last year, we spent almost one million euros, so the disruption here is just increasing every year. It costs us a lot. ATR aircraft uh, fly to airfields, uh, uh, which often lack uh, of infrastructure or technology of larger airports, and often fly in challenging environments. Enhanced vision system is one of options of clear vision system, and it's a perfect answer uh, to address uh, low visibility operations. It can reduce uh, operating minima without doing anything uh, to ground infrastructure. This is why it's perfectly adapted to regional markets. It's a game changer. AVS is a new concept. It's, it's new in the industry, it's new for regulation. Thanks to the high level of technology, you can see through the, uh, the fog and, the, and some clouds. The benefits for airline will be uh, to increase their dispatch capability, because thanks to this equipment, you can uh, try an approach with reduced visibility. Currently, if we make an approach to Guernsey, the RVR required is 550 meters. Um, before we can legally start the approach. Current RVR restricts us from landing on quite a few days during the year. With the introduction of EVS, that would reduce that RVR to 300 meters, which would make a significant difference to our operation. And then you have to see the runway to, uh, to make the final approach visually. With AVS to land concept, we will be allowed to land without having the natural vision of the airfield but with the enhanced vision, thanks to EVS. Obviously, with EVS, we would be able to legally make the approach and start the approach. But obviously, if they got visual, they would land. Well, we understand the benefits of EVS to be probably a 50% reduction in our disruption costs and probably a greater uh, reduction in our overall disruption because Sometimes the disruption does not actually become a cost, it just becomes an inconvenience. Added to that safety, the EVS would give us a better situational awareness approaching the runway, so uh, it was a great help. And uh, yeah, from that point on, as a pilot, I was sold on the system. The concept of being the first commercial customer with EVS is very exciting for all of us. And I think it will really help us deliver something different for the local community.